previously during the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? Agent York, Nick is leaving the bar. <laughs> Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? I do. It's better than staying here. Very well then. Off you go. Look carefully, boy. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes, thank you. Is the coffee that good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. says to hurry, and the first letter of each line is H-A-R-R-Y. Hurry to Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. Polly, I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. I think you'll have fun with him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course! Now, give me your cup and I'll give you some more coffee. I'll see you later, Polly. Hey, am I still a suspect? No. Okay, well, good. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Diane, she's a single woman, so 
this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, did, did you find out who did it? I can't discuss that. Yes, of course. I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I'm clean. As clean as the sheets in this hotel. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. We can only hope it isn't Emily. York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. <sighs> what about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying he didn't do it. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. George has asked for permission to search for Thomas. I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. Are you really an FBI agent? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. Oh, but Emily, a serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You go with George and find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. Ugh, I was an idiot for thinking he might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men.
took us hours to get to New York by bus. We got to the CBGB and we were so nervous we couldn't go inside. And it took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. And inside, we were shocked. Right, Zach? I'll never forget that feeling. It was like a blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg pop. The Ramones. That song still makes me feel good. That's a sign of a classic. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. Those were the good old days. Rock and roll high school and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. Let's hope they're still rocking on wherever they are. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Mr. Francis York Morgan, Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but... I just don't like tea. Mr. Francis York Morgan, some tea with sugar is what's best admired. By your body that looks so tired, so says Mr. Stewart. Harry, where did you get these seeds? Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk, after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, so you like to play games? Mr. Francis York Morgan, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet 
and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play along. Thank you.